Hi, and welcome to another edition brought to you by plcgurus.net. So we're very excited about this next video series that we're about to work on. Uh, specifically, what we're going to be doing in the next set of videos is walking you through in explicit detail how to create or develop your own HMI or SCADA type applications using Visual Studio and C Sharp programming language. Now, like I said, we're, we're super excited about this. So to get us kicked off and to get us going, um, I thought we'd start with the basic introduction of the various components that we're going to be using and then bridge into the actual videos that are going to show us through various examples how we can actually use Visual Studio and C Sharp to directly access tag data in our PLCs or more specifically uh, our control logics or, or the RS5000 family of controllers. So again, we're really excited to get going on this. So just a, a quick introduction. So what is SCADA? So, I mean, we've all heard of SCADA. So what is it, what is it exactly? So SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. So it is a control system architecture that uses computers, network data communication, and graphical user interfaces for high-level process supervisory management. It also uses other per peripheral devices such as programmable logic controllers and discrete PID controllers to interface, interface to the process, plant, or machinery. Okay, so you can see I have a diagram here that basically shows, um, in a nutshell, what we're going to do here. So we have our basic Windows operating system running on a standard type PC where we're going to be running the Visual Studio um, Community Edition, the free edition of Visual Studio, IDE. And we're going to be using something that's going to give us the ability to directly access any Island Bradley type PLC directly from our C Sharp application. So typically this is done using middleware software or OPC software uh, where your application will connect to the OPC server, such as RS Lynx or Kepware, and then Kepware goes out and provides all of the drivers necessary to interface the PLCs and pull the data that you need. So we're looking at it from a completely different perspective in that we're going to use something called ingearnet.logics, which is a an API or a set of drivers that will allow us to access the PLC database and tag data directly from within our C-sharp application. So what are these, some of the advantages of using Ingear NetLogix and C-sharp? Well, unlike OPC, which is a middleware application, like I said, um, that presents complex programming and challenging application compatibility, applications written in C-sharp in conjunction with NetLogix drivers provide extremely fast data access with the out the overhead and recurring costs of OPC servers. So again, we're cutting out the middleman here by not having to use an OPC server. So another advantage, by using .NET technologies, you gain access and tools to easily connect your PLC data to backend database technologies, or even cloud technologies for that matter, like the Azure Cloud or SQL Server. So Again, very powerful. Now, what we have the ability, because we're using the .NET environment, we have the ability now to not only pull the data from our PLCs, take that data and stick it in a SQL Server type database. Very powerful stuff. Another advantage, applications developed can run on 64 or 32-bit Windows operating systems. They can run on Windows Server, um, Linux. There's a whole host of operating systems that we can run our applications on. And of course, the big one here, one of the big ones anyways, is the potential to save thousands and thousands of dollars on Rockwell software licensing and hardware. So effectively, we can create our own HMIs, make those HMIs very flexible, very robust, and complete with a backend SQL Server type database, and not have to spend any money except for maybe the $1,000 for the in-gear drivers. So, I mean, we don't have to buy the $6,000 HMI hardware. We don't have to buy, you know, the Factory Talk View Studio software, the ME or the SE version. We can do it all and have all of the power that .NET gives us. So very cool stuff. 
Okay, so just quickly, uh, I just want to walk over our lab uh, setup here. It's, it's going to be very, very straightforward. So we simply have a Visual Studio uh, or a computer running Visual Studio Community Edition. Again, this is the free edition. Uh, we're going to have the InGear NetLogix uh, 5.0 um, drivers installed on this, on this uh, PC. I have a router here. I mean, the, the focus is not on the router. I mean, we, we have other videos that go through some static uh, Stratix configurations. I mean, I just have it here because that's actually what my setup is currently. And I have a Logix controller sitting at the following IP address. Again, a very basic setup, but really what we're going to demonstrate here is proof of concept. The limitations are really limitless here i mean there are no limitations to what you can do because we're, we're using dot net and c-sharp programming language to do everything we're going to do here so again very cool okay so what are you going to need to to follow along in this series well you're going to need access to a control logic or similar uh, platform of controller a compact uh, micro whatever you want uh, with an ethernet option uh, you're going to need access or a license for the RS Logix 5000 or Studio 5000 programming software. You're going to need Visual Studio 2017 Community uh, Edition, which is again the free edition. You're going to need to have the InGear NetLogix driver. So they do offer a trial version, or if you're this is something you're planning on really looking at and investing in, I do highly recommend it. Their, 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 their driver package is fantastic. Um, so you're going to need that. You can just link to the website or just do a quick Google search for that. This is not a beginner tutorial. This, this video series is not for beginners. I'm not going to teach you how to program in C sharp. I mean, we'll cover some things, but I'm going to assume that you have knowledge of the C sharp programming language or programming languages in general. Uh, I'm going to assume that you do have some basic knowledge of the Visual Studio IDE and I'm going to assume that you do have some programming, PLC programming experience, specifically on Control Logics controllers. So again, this is not a, a beginner basic level video series that I'm putting together here, we're, we're putting together here. This is for, I would say, intermediate to advanced um, level engineers or technologists. Okay, and lastly, of course, you're going to need the time, the patience, and the desire to learn. So I, I'm pretty excited to, to walk you through this. Um, this is some really cool stuff. And like I said, the power the power is really unlimited here because once we're in the .NET, C Sharp, SQL world, um, there's really no stopping us. We can do anything. So I look forward to working with you and getting started. Thank you.